Hey, honey. Yes. You ready? Oh, we're doing this now. I'm going to tell you in advance. We should probably test to make sure the audio is recording. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. That can the... you hear me now? Barely. Hold on. Let me let me get this mic ready. Testing one. Oh, for me two. Three. <laughs> and go. Sure. Let's do this. Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure It Out. Today on We'll Figure It Out, we are going to kind of give you an update on how well we did with implementing the plans from the podcast before the last podcast. Can I do it? Can I do it? Go ahead. Nothing ever goes as planned. <laughs> it's a hell of a notion. I'll stop there. Okay. Thanks for that. That's my brief sticks reference. Thank you for the sticks reference, honey. 1981. Paradise Theater album. What month, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's somewhere in the back of my brain, but it's not... Four beers in, I don't remember that. <laughs> That's about all I can stump him on, is the the, the month of the album. Yes. I mean, <laughs> what, I was, what, six when it came out? So just to kind of refresh y'all from last, not last week, but the week before last, because I do have another podcast that has been posted since then. We had a lot of house projects and car projects and house projects that we had to do to prepare for car projects <laughs> so we needed to figure out in what order we were going to do the things that we needed to do so i'm going to go over the list for you kind of refresh your memory we needed to clean out my closet to move the office stuff from the garage well actually just my desk from the garage up into the office closet closet office and then we needed to move the primary computer back into our dining room. We're getting rid of the office in the garage so the garage can be used for car repairs. <clears throat> and then we had some area rugs put down. We needed to clean those, put those in the attic. We have a f three, well, two sides of a fence and a gate that need to be replaced. The hall bathroom needs to be remodeled. The laundry room needs to be remodeled. Uh, we needed to clean the garage. We needed to take a exercise bike that's from upstairs in our bedroom and put it downstairs in the garage and take a chair that was in the dining room and put it up here in the bedroom so we could fit the computer downstairs. We need to clean out the plumbing vents. We need to snake the hall bath drain sink drain. We I have laundry room on here twice. I don't know why. We have two interior doors that need to be replaced. We actually need to add an exterior door because the front door needs to be replaced. Where's the pen? I don't know. You didn't... I, I There was no pen when I came out the shower. Well, you know, you had a pen last week. That was last week. A lot has happened since then, but not enough off of our list. Obviously not. So we need to add exterior front door whenever we find a pen. A little Sharpie work? Yeah, Sharpie will work. I want it back when um, you're done with it. Fine, then. I'll give it back. Sharpies are a hot commodity. Yes, around this house they are. Okay. Front door. And then we were going to make a screen from the PVC pipes that we had made dividers out of to divide the, the yucky side of the garage that was not organized from the office so when I was working I wouldn't be distracted and we also needed to take those down and disassemble them and wash the curtains then Sam's car or I guess it's really the teenager's car because it's not just his car the teenager's car needed an oil change it needs a wheel bearing brake tag inspection sticker for reference from the other one yes and the New Orleans area we call it brake tags it's an inspection sticker 
Then Jeremy's car needs an engine rebuild and the suspension worked on. Complete, replaced, whatever. So, out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 19 ish things on this list. We also added sell the pool, take down the pool. <laughs> and we, 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 we sold it. We took it down. Well, actually, we didn't take it down. Whoever the people it, that came, bought it took it which down. It <laughs> was a great relief to me because all I had to do was just pretty much watch. Just, Supervision you know. and assistance here and there. Yep, it's gone. So. Bye bye. Now we have a big gaping hole in the backyard. But anyway, so yeah, the pool, selling the pool thing. I don't think we expected it to happen as quickly as it had. So, you know, we didn't think it was going to disrupt what we had plans for this week. Well, it did. Yeah, it did. We did get some things accomplished, though. So let's let's talk about what we accomplished that was actually on our list and not what we added to and accomplished. My closet got cleaned which i had pretty much had it cleaned when we recorded that episode and then my desk is in the closet we have moved the primary computer into the dining room mm -hmm. we moved the chair that was in the dining room to a different side of the dining room <laughs> yes because we still haven't cleaned out the garage enough to move the exercise bike which by the way what should we sell it? Should we sell that? Yes, because I'm not, probably never going to use it. Well, I mean, it's been used, what, three times since no, we moved it? No, I've actually done, okay, five. made ten. I think I've used it ten times. And we've had it for like four years. Almost. Mm, yeah, three. De December of 17. I got it in December of 17. Okay, yeah. I have not used it enough to warrant it, which I'm glad I made the prerequisite. Are you going to get mad at me if I don't use this? Did I get mad it? at you? You did not get mad at me. I will not get mad at you for that. You did well. I try. I I am very bad at consistency. Gosh darn it the heck anyway. And I really want to get back to Pio and machines... Machines work for me if I go to the gym and use them. They do not work for me at home. But I'm not consistent at getting to the gym anyway, so it won't matter. So I need to get back to doing Pio. That's what I. That's what's worked for me in the past the best, and I just need to do it. Okay, so back to the list. Um, we did not get the garage clean. We did pick up some of the rugs. Yeah, the fourth rug is still sitting underneath the desk that is still loaded down with stuff. Yeah, we exchanged a bigger desk for a smaller desk to put it in the dining room so it took up less space. So mm. we need to decide whether we're going to attempt to try and... Yes, the fate of that desk. Try and repair and refinish it and try and sell it. That would be the longest furniture flip in the history of furniture flips. I've had that desk for 18 years. Well, it was always a used piece of furniture, but when you decide to make it nice and new, then it becomes a furniture flip. So, the decision to flip it would be today if we decided to do that. And what if so, we decide tomorrow? Then it could be tomorrow, too. <laughs> then it would be... a not as old of a flip if it was tomorrow <laughs> i warned you i've been drinking right yes you did it's Do mother, you mother's think day and i've been drinking it is we are recording this on sunday mother's day <laughs> question do you think it is worth the time and investment to repair the things that are broken on it replace the piece of wood i'm thinking we just buy a new piece of wood cut it to the size stick some new why would we buy a piece of wood when we probably have a piece of wood that we can use somewhere well it, when you put it that way obviously that would be the smarter choice <laughs> uh i really need to try and get the the keyboard drawer out of it and see what's going on with the rails because 
I think just from kids leaning on this thing, the, those rails, the thing won't move. It doesn't open and close. Right. I'm thinking the rails need to be replaced. The hinges can be probably replaced or cleaned or <clears throat> painted, cleaned and painted. And then we can, you know, do a light sand on it and decide what color to paint it. I'm thinking black. What about electron blue? How many people want an electron blue desk? It would go really great with gray walls. So would black, because black goes with everything. What about people that really like electron blue? Please raise your hand if you like electron blue. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Telecaster that's electron blue. A Telecaster and a desk are two entirely different things. A Telecaster can be electron blue because it's supposed to be electrifying when you look at it. Okay, well, explain butterscotch blonde Telecasters then. I can't because I don't know what that is. Okay, well, then why can't a desk be electron blue? It can be, but if you want to sell it, will it sell? Somebody out there must like it. And how long do you want to hang on to this piece of furniture? <laughs> I've apparently held on to it for 18 years. <laughs> and we may have to hold on to it for another 18 years if we paint it electron blue. <laughs> I mean, I think white or black would probably be the best color for it. It's, it's a mission style desk so which would be probably the best thing to do for it would be another wood tone espresso or espresso a, would be nice right yeah or go back with kind of a reddish the reddish one that it's got i mean electron blue wouldn't suit it i'm just kidding around about I know, that because it's being ridiculous it's a mission style desk how many mission style items have you seen that are painted blue electron blue specifically I don't think I've ever seen any that color. Okay. Only Telecasters. <laughs> Very rarely, because it's I keep it in storage. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, you think we should stain it? Is is it a veneer that's on there, or is it actual wood? I haven't even looked close enough to it. I believe the only thing that is... MDF or particle board is the bottom of the keyboard drawer and possibly the bottom of the pullout drawer. I think everything mm. else is pretty much a straight up wood, okay. if I remember right. I mean, it wasn't an expensive desk by any means when I bought it. Right. But it wasn't exactly a low quality desk either. No. Well, then if it's I mean, wood, then we can sand it down and restain it. Apparently, it's lasted me 18 yeah. years and it hasn't fallen apart. Well, I, I think we should try that. But in the same vein, Colin's cheapo desk has lasted him 18 years. And mm -hmm. the other day he told me, I think I might need to look into getting a new desk. <laughs> this is the same desk that when we moved into this house, Colin decided, I think I'm going to paint part of my desk. And it's the middle of the night and he's in the garage. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. His desk. Okay. It's your desk. Go right ahead. <laughs> I totally forgot about that, but yeah, I do remember that now. Um, yeah, he, you know, he he should probably buy himself a new desk if it's you know falling apart. I think but what is he gonna do with his desk? Oh my god, he's gonna put it somewhere else in his new place when he gets it. Because mm -hmm, <laughs> he's not gonna get rid of it because he does not like getting rid of things. <laughs> Colin, it's okay to let go sometimes. Okay. Lesson for another day. Episode for another day. Letting go. Letting go. Okay. All right, Elsa. <laughs> so what didn't we get done? All the other things. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the whole pool thing, we actually had to do some stuff with that today. And we had to, well, we were asked to go over to his mom's house mm -hmm. to do some yard work she's recovering from surgery and jeremy's stepdad has a bad back so 
we spent Mother's Day taking care of his mother. Mm -hmm. And then taking care of our yard, which also included... We had little brick... Pavers. It's not pavers. Well, not really. It's edging. It's brick edging. So we had, like, brick edging around the pool, and we needed to pull up all of that and get some of the... They had... Pea pebbles. Pea pebbles. That's what it's called. I can't think of words today. We had to get the pea pebbles out of the grass so we could cut it today. Well, we meaning Jeremy. (laughs) But I did get in my garden and weed some. And then I did some weed eating around the garden. And then... But it was helpful that Samuel and Jonathan came and helped. I started raking the the pea pebbles mm-hmm. and he's like, here mom, let me do that. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, well that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Noah had actually started with pulling the, uh, the edging blocks out last night. He mm-hmm. I think he wound up pulling out like 15 of them and then I think he wore out. I mean, yeah. these, these things were hard to get out of the ground. They were. We had to shovel them out. Yeah, they had settled down so, quite a bit. They were they were in there. And so the gaping hole that we're talking about, it's not like a five foot hole or anything. It's only about six to eight inches lower than our highest point of the yard. Yes, but it is twenty well, it's a twenty six feet around because you got the yeah. edging that stuck out around the pool. Yeah. Twenty six so, foot across. diameter. Yeah. Circumference. It was, it was, no. Diameter. Uh, drinking. Drinking. 26 foot <laughs> diameter. <laughs> yes. Whatever that equates to circumferentially. <laughs> Don't make me break out pie. <laughs> it's not, it's no, it's not pie day. It's not 3.14, 314. Nope. No, nope, 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 not doing it, it. not it? doing it, not Mm-mm. doing it. No nope. math. We, we passed, we just passed up May the 4th be with you, Zinga de Mayo, and Return of the 6th. Yeah. Revenge of the Sixth. Revenge of the Sixth. <laughs> Return of the Sixth. Keep your sixth. <laughs> but I'll take your fifth. What you trying to say? I need drink. Oh, now you want drink. I offered you drink <laughs> earlier. You're like, oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm just messing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, you fine. I'm just going to drink, keep drinking. And so I drank and drank and drank. We had four. I could go for another, but I'm not going to. I wouldn't advise it. Work tomorrow. No, I'm not going to drink at work. <laughs> <laughs> How about I rephrase that? <laughs> I wouldn't advise it because you have to go to work tomorrow and you may regret the choice of the fifth beer. Do I have to go to work tomorrow? I mean, look. Bills, yes, I know. I owe, I owe, it's off to work, I go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm familiar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same, same. So, this week, do you think that we can... I have something going on tomorrow evening. Mm-hmm. You Have you decided what we're going to do for dinner tomorrow? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can do red beans, but mm-hmm. it's going to be, I don't know. No, I did not figure out where tomorrow is. Okay. But I can tell you this much. Somebody just tagged me or commented something on my Facebook. You know how I know? Because it gave you a notification and you just heard it, and so did the podcast. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have not figured out our meal for this week. We have not gone to the grocery. Our weekend got skewed s- by pool disassembly, supervision, cleaning, mm-hmm. vacating water from said pool, mm-hmm. and helping his mom. Mm-hmm. So... Our normal routine was disrupted. Yes, and then kids and not wanting to do 
yard work and stuff. I got laundry done, though. You did, and I brought it up here, and I put my stuff away. Did you really? I did. It must have happened while I was in the shower. It did. I typically am not known for putting away laundry and or folding it and mostly not washing it either hmm. because something very suspect here what normally <laughs> i know where you go with this <laughs> normally <laughs> the sequence goes i take the laundry down i wash and fold the clothes i take the clothes up and i put them all away all away all away not i put my clothes away i put them all away <laughs> but if you left my clothes i would put them away you don't ever leave them for me to put no, away because experience has told me that they wind up back in the basket on the floor and not put away <laughs> <laughs> and thus comes along the times when she asks her kids did you fold and put away your clothes <laughs> can she really really get upset when they say no and, <laughs> and do I <laughs> I just don't go fold and put away your clothes again and I'm, just, I'm like come on just do it I mean you don't have a job you don't have stress in your life. What's what's keeping you from folding your laundry? I'm crying. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because okay, I'm blaming my mother again for something. I think it's because my mother made me fold the laundry all the time for everyone and I just hate it. <laughs> And, and I personally think it's really easy on me these days because it used to be I folded and washed everybody's clothes. And we have all of the kids except for Noah doing their laundry, so. Well, all, the only thing that's being done for him is it's getting washed and dried. He's he's responsible oh, right. for, for folding and putting away, yeah. which he doesn't because he's his mother's child. But that's just like the point. <laughs> Uh, when Jeremy met me, uh -huh. <laughs> we uh. were living in a two bedroom, one bath house. It was tiny, and my living room. I was I was the kind of person that did a load of laundry every day because then my kids weren't doing all the laundry. Actually, Jonathan was doing a lot of the laundry. He would wash it and dry it for me. I also have this problem with. ADHD, I'm sorry, it is a real thing. It can really cramp your style and your ability to function sometimes. And laundry is one of those things for me. I will constantly forget things in the washer. Like the other day when Jeremy was washing the curtains, or I put the curtains in the washer that we took from the dividers, and I completely forgot about them. And he's like, by the way, I put the other curtains in the wash and I'm like oh my gosh it's been almost 18 hours and I had forgotten that I had put those in the washer completely dismissed out of my brain that that was in the washer I remembered I know you remember things like that and I don't and I used to have to wash my clothes constantly over and over again because I would go to put something in the washer and I'm like oh crud I just forgot to load in there. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just picking on her about the clothes thing. Sure you to... are, sure you are. <laughs> I know, he is. I, I, he I, gotta, I gotta rib you a little bit on that. <laughs> well, I only have, like, two drawers that things go in. You have, like, two drawers and a closet, and it's just confusing sometimes. He is just talking about these two drawers as things go in. You have like three drawers. The the middle one doesn't hold clothes. What does it hold? Do I want to know? Never mind. It's Let's my it's it. my bedroom junk drawer. <laughs> not only do I have a kitchen junk drawer, I have a bedroom. You know, I don't know. When we first got together, I personally had one junk drawer. But how many did your house have? I wasn't responsible for the rest of it. I, I had one. 
It's a community junk drawer in the kitchen. <laughs> my yep. junk drawer is in my bedroom. No, I don't know. I have like boxes from phones I need to get rid of. <laughs> I have a. I have things that I would display up on the top of my dresser if my dresser wasn't full of paperwork that I needed to go through and file and or shred. Because when I was on furlough, I decided to go through the filing cabinet and get rid of stuff and finally file a bu bunch of stuff. And then I organized it and then somehow it didn't get in the filing cabinet and I've just kept adding to it. So it's like this stack that's about to fall and crush me. I'm staring at this stack right now. At best, you'll get a paper cut. It just feels like it would crush me because that's how that's how paralyzing those decisions are <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> do I keep it? Do I file it? Do I throw it away? Do I shred it? You would think those would be very simple things to, and just sometimes I'm just like, I don't know, and what file name should I put this under? Does it go under medical? Does it go under financial? Does it go under bills? Does it, does it just go in the shredder? I don't know. And this one piece of paper I've had for 35 years, do I really need to keep it? So what is, what is that saying? If it brings you joy... Papers never bring me joy, so I would shred them all. all. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would need it to access Fire. information off of it. Fire. I'm telling you, I wish we didn't have to keep papers for long. Scan it. Mm. We could. Does the scanner work? The scanner works. It's just that it has to use a stupid different HP scan and fax whatever program to do it because you can't use the the uh Solution, solution Center thing oh. because you it's know outdated. they discontinued Flash and it was yeah. dependent on using Flash and because they want you to buy a new scanner because that well, one's probably I mean, antiquated. I mean, it's only it's only ten years old. I mean, it can't be that antiquated. It's technology. It's a printer. It's 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 a Twain device. Technology without an interesting name. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what Twain stands for. <laughs> I don't know how we got off on this tangent. Maybe the same way that we got off on the tangents that caused us to not get all of our stuff completed. Because we run around like chickens with our heads cut off. Sounds like a lot of fun. Huh? Running around like a chicken with a head cut off. It sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't want to run. It doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> and therein lies the problem. Really? The problem of all of our troubles is because I don't want to run like a chicken with my head cut off. You just don't sympathize with the chicken. That's the problem. I know. I eat it. I don't sympathize with it. I eat it. It was pretty good tonight. It was. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken didn't run very far without its head. <laughs> no. It was kind of processed before we got to it. <laughs> Only lightly. <laughs> it was mechanically separated, I'm sure. I am sure. So, this week... Do we try to tackle more of this list? Is it possible for us? I feel like I'm on one of those shows where they're like, will they get it done? Is it possible for them to accomplish the tasks on the list before them? Dun, dun, dun. Commercial break. After three years of waiting and <laughs> six weeks worth of editing, yes, we would get it done. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> should we have should we have a sub subtitled? We'll figure it out. Did we figure it out? <laughs> no, it's not a matter of us figuring. Like I said last week, mm -hmm. we can figure it out. It's just that we necessarily implement it. I think. And we this did... is one of those occasions where we had it figured out, but we could not implement. The other thing is, is that we don't have things take longer than we 
expect them to and so we think we can accomplish more than we can actually accomplish in the highly distracting environment we live in yes a lot of time the actual activity doesn't take very long it's the getting stopped along the way that that increases it it. by two to three four times Mm -hmm. as long mom can you do this mom can you do that can i have this can i go there can i do this can i whatever yeah that all right so if we were going to do something this week so how many things did we actually accomplish so we did i mean we did a few things on that day that we Mm -hmm. reported so i would say that that counts Mm -hmm. so the cleaning the closet and Mm -hmm. moving the thing we got that done that's one Mm -hmm. we moved the primary computer that's two we did not get the rugs in the attic. We're not tackling the fence. We're not tackling the hall bathroom. We're not tackling the laundry room. We did not. You did say you worked a little bit in the I garage. did work a little bit, but not enough to make. It was primarily in the disassembly of the office area more than oh, it was anything right. else. Yeah, getting that stuff done, right. Nothing happened with the plumbing. Okay, so we need to complete getting the... So I guess we need to address the desk this week and get it prepped for possibly restaining, figure out if it needs new parts, and restain it this weekend and list it on a Whatever. Mar- wherever. Yeah. So I think that and we can piddle in the garage between the desk and the garage trying to get that clean i think that's probably all we can really possibly accomplish this week because it's going to take some time to sand it down if we decide to sand it down even if we just do it lightly Mm -hmm. and get i mean or do what we'd have to sand it all the way down to be able to restain it a different color I don't know either. I've never really like I don't I don't know how deep the finish is on that desk. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have semi idea from, you know, when I had the monitor that was on there that sat on there for years and years when I moved it and it pulled the urethane off of it. It's little spots on the top of the desk. Mm. It's actually from where the monitor was sitting there yeah. for a long, long time. And oh then, wow. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so I think we'll have to do some research when it comes to refinishing because I'm not, I mean, the only thing I've ever really redone furniture-wise was the end tables that your sister gave us, Mm -hmm. and that I painted. I did not restain them because they had the, what do you call that? Things. It wasn't solid wood. Mm. It was a veneer or plastic. Yeah, veneer. It had the veneer on it. So I kind of took some of that off. And so I was like, oh, well, let me just paint this. So then if we can get rid of that desk, we can finish. I mean, we can move the desk off of the rug, get the rugs up into the attic. Mm -hmm. And then use that space to deal with the so we're going to do that because the other option is to like list it for 25 bucks Mm -hmm. and let somebody else do it Mm, i don't know we'll figure that one out that's that's (laughs) because didn't we mention possibly using it elsewhere I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't be able to use it until Colin moves out, though. Mm -hmm. Unless Jonathan wanted it up in his room, and oh my gosh, to get that thing upstairs, that would be like, ugh. That, I I know how furniture lasts when it goes through that room. Yeah, it doesn't. And I'm not too keen on letting something get destroyed. Okay. So where would we put this until Colin moves out? We really don't have any other place other than the garage. 
could always disassemble it. Oh, can we? Uh, yeah, I mean, I did put it together. You're right. <laughs> we could disassemble it and put it in the attic. Hopefully it doesn't scream at me. No disassemble! Why would it scream at you, no disassemble? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one day I was watching Short Circuit while I was at that desk. <laughs> and it remembers. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny uh, Five is alive. Johnny Five is alive. <laughs> oh I'm my a gosh. pepper. He's a pepper. She's a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? <laughs> <laughs> I do movie quotes as well. Yes, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I just don't even know. <laughs> All right, so I, I really think that the desk and trying to get headway in that garage is where we need to focus this week. Yeah, because, you know, where we were supposed to be this week. Where were we supposed to be? We were supposed to be being able to drive your vehicle into the garage is where we were supposed to be. I thought my car was supposed to be, like, finished by now. Yeah, that was a pipe dream. Whose? Mine or yours? Both. <laughs> well, I'm realistic. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> uh, I, You know, I think we would have gotten a lot farther if we didn't have the whole pool situation. Yeah, the pool situation made a big difference in things. Um, but we also wanted to get rid of it, so accomplishing that now when people are looking for pools was the best way to go. But. It's gone. It is. And now we have to deal with the buying, buying dirt. I guess that's where the money for the pool needs to go. <laughs> we were talking earlier about, well, where do we put the money? Because we got cash. And it's like, how do we even use cash? Because we don't use cash anymore ever. <laughs> well, we'll have to use it towards dirt. And what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, the cash. Hole and mm -hmm. the cash. What's yeah, we'll cash. have to deposit the money into the, our bank account so we can pay the people. So it will revert into electronic money. You're terrible at that. You need to. You just need to stop vaping, and then it won't be a problem for the podcast. He's blinking his eyes at me, like I've offended him to his core. This is my core talking. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that was weird. I'm very offended. <laughs> 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 no, he's not going to try and get off of nicotine until his life is a little less stressful. Because I'm not dealing with the withdrawals. My vaping saves lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Of other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, desk and garage. We're going to scale back our grandiose plans and focus on one to two things a week notice we really didn't put a time frame on those no we really items. didn't no we kind of just was like what let's see what we can get done off of this list we did decide to have a crawfish boil on my birthday actually i decided i wanted it it's not on your birthday it's after your birthday fine whatever my birthday weekend and it's on a Sunday that I don't work. And it is on a Sunday when you never work. Shh. 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 It's on a Sunday that I don't work. Give me that water. Fine, I'll <laughs> give you the water. Should have put ice in it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like ice in my water. No mean. Warm water just tastes funny. It doesn't hurt my teeth to drink wa warm water. I, I didn't say that it didn't hurt your teeth. I'm just saying it tastes funny. It's just my opinion. I don't care. It's my water. I filled it up earlier, and then you totally forgot about it's it. It's been here for days. 
No, I filled oh. that up earlier oh, while we were outside. Up. You brought this up? Too? Yes. Oh. Because I love you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. See, my memory is terrible. I can't even remember what I did three hours ago. Three hours ago would have been seven something. You ate dinner. I, I don't think I want to podcast with you when you're drunk anymore. <laughs> He's not drunk. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing it out more than anything else. I'm driving me nuts. All right. I think we have figured this out. Do you okay, think, good. Are you done? I'm. Well, we gotta go ahead and do the outro stuff, and then I can say it. No, you are. You always say it before the outro. Okay, fine. Um, I'm done. Me too. We hope that you will join us next week when we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. Oh, I told you I was done. I mean, I didn't have to say it, did I? What? Because I said I was done. Oh my gosh. You're like a whiny teenager. I'm done. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>